Make this. What is the current thing? Uh, we will make this twenty thousand six hundred four. Okay. Okay. So if you see here, uh, see at this point of time, let me uh, remove this because it's taking the previous data. Here also, let me remove this. Okay. Now let's wait. So currently I am just looking at this. See what happens in an algo is if the conditions are met, it will immediately take the trade. It will not wait. So at times like this, uh, where uh, market is at a high gap, so it is like uh, as good as a re-entry which we are trying to take also. This is a similar case, so what is going to happen. In this case, what is very important is your risk is extremely high. Look at the low, low is 200 and uh, okay, I think uh, this has taken the previous stop loss because uh, it was based on the previous uh, um, options which we had actually kept here, okay? so. In fact, the actual price should be this. So let's see what happens here is it is going to start. See, if you here, I, I, uh, in fact, uh, only 100 points of uh, stop loss is there. So that is much more better. So what happens is this is something which you have to take, uh, uh, take care of your risk whenever uh, such big gaps come. Because uh, see the day low, if we have started from the day low and then trailing, what happens is um, uh, your stop loss will be a, a bit wide. So your risk will be extremely on the higher side. So here, since we had uh, a previously a uh, different one and uh, it was already running and I have changed the, uh, see last, uh, based on uh, Friday, uh, I had put this as 44,500 call and uh, 45,000 put I had put. Now I have changed the whole thing. So that is why it has taken a different stop loss. But anyway, see, generally we usually take this day low as stop loss. But if it is bigger, wider, then you can actually change the stop loss. Because the initial stop loss is very important for you to protect your profits. Because what happens is, uh, when the stop loss is very big, what happens is even if it trails also, it will not be able to help you. Because today we have an extremely big gap. This is too big. See, personally, if I have to see, I will wait for this to close this trade, probably in a loss. Then I'll, uh, where there is a fresh re-entry is going to come, that is where I'll be more interested. Because at such big gaps, uh, it is a little difficult. But anyway, if you have to go strictly by the algo, this is what is happening and you will be able to see this. You can see that already, uh, these are already coming into losses. Can you see here? You can see that it is already coming into losses in uh, all these places because what happens is there will be some amount of profit booking definitely which is going to happen today because the gap is extremely high and it is at the all time high. So after the profit booking only fresh buying can come. So let's see how will it happen. As of now, it is still not into a sell. If it comes into a sell mode, then we can probably take a, a trade on the sell side. As of now, it is not. So if I have to look at the whole thing here, Let's do one thing. Okay. If you see in the first, in fact, I wanted to start at the 9.15, 9.20 only. Because first five minutes after that, I wanted to, that there was a dip, right? It would have taken the entry, but uh, you can see that, I don't know if you are also facing the problem. In fact, I was facing say a lot of problem with the zero. I was not able to log in only. 
So since I was not able to log in, uh, there's no point in actually uh, demonstrating you anything. Okay. See, if this breaks, then technically it will get into a cell mode. Let's see. And from GAN perspective, uh, 45,200 uh, becomes important. Uh, so that is uh, starting of a new cycle. So if we are uh, going to start uh, uh, coming down, it has to be below this one. Now some selling can come, but from our perspective, uh, as of now, our algo is not giving any sell. See, when the sell will come there, it will automatically show that the sell has come. Till then, it will not get into a sell mode. See, until unless there is a clear clarity that the direction has changed, it will still uh, not going to take any kind of a sell mode kind of a thing. If you see everything is in a buy and you can see here it is making loss, especially in mid cap nifty. Mid cap nifty is in a bigger loss from that gap. That means that this is correcting higher. Okay. Let's wait for it. I think uh, it will close this with a loss. And once it closes with a loss, that is where we will be. See what has happened here is the initial stop loss. If you see, it is all the day low. So that is where it is a little bigger, wider. But that cannot be avoided. We can't take a smaller stop loss than this. So let's see, as of now, it is still in the buy mode only. It has not come into the sell mode from our uh, perspective of uh, the algo. Because the formulas which we have put in the algo, from that perspective, I think it will uh, get into a sell mode only when that confirmation is going to come. 750. So the low is 600. So 400, at least it has to start trading below 45,800. Then only it will start coming into a sell mode. Till then it will not get into a sell mode in case of uh, bank nifty. And in case of nifty, uh, high is 640, sorry, 690. So almost around uh, 75 points it has moved. So at least around 40 points it has to come down. So... Uh, it has to come below this another maybe another 10 15 points 20 points i think uh, it will uh, get into this cell mode here and if that comes uh, it will actually uh, exit here so let it exit here and let it get into a cell mode then probably even if this put also comes into the cell mode then it makes sense uh, Let's say 90, 40, 150, so, so probably this has to go beyond 120 plus, then it will get into the buy mode for put. As of now, it is still not there. So you will be able to see that because such big gaps or whenever there is a re-entry, this problem will be there. But um, that's what how any algo will work and that is something you should understand and you should be able to see at that place you have to have your own discretion should you take the trade or not. So there will be an option for you should you trade the trade, avoid the trade and all. At this point of time I am avoiding taking any kind of a trade. Because such big gaps no, if there is a dip and if then a buying will happen if it takes support then it makes sense otherwise it becomes a challenge because the gap is extremely high today look at this it is not actually uh, it is not uh, coming down here it is taking support that is the main thing if it is not taking support then probably something can be done 
looking at this nifty is looking a little weaker compared to bank nifty you can see here also nifty only 1.4 percent up bank nifty almost two percent plus up so overall nifty and that is mainly because of uh, mid cap nifty probably yes mid cap nifty has gone up extremely on a higher side i think uh, almost around 10000 level that is huge and that is also a psychological number also so let's see what uh, it will do nas nifty is also taking support okay if what we can probably uh, try out here you can probably put mid cap nifty thing also but i will have to change the entire thing then we cannot take uh, in case of one of these things so that will be a challenge anyway as of now it is still on the buy side only so that means nothing to be done and what is our timings let us look at our timings what actually our timings has been there uh, okay 11 45 to 12 probably uh, that is the time where we may get any kind of a thing here it is showing 10 30 so after 10 30 only uh, 10 30 or maybe 11 45 that is where we may start seeing something Till then, I think market is going to be a little sideways to positive only. For us, uh, I am more interested in this trade getting exited and uh, a fresh trade coming on the opposite direction. That is where I would be interested. Or if uh, it comes into the sell mode, again comes back into a buying mode, that is also fine. Because if it starts taking a support, at the lower level okay if you see here nifty has gone in okay nifty has closed the trade can you see here it exited the trade it exited the trade with the loss i was telling you this this is going to happen because once a sell came but again buy has come so what happens is it will uh first and foremost thing this has actually triggered that uh, thing which means that here buy is not ideally possible so we have to probably wait so 11 45 it is saying right so let's see maybe after 10 30 11 if it comes a little down and then it again gets into sustained and the buy side only then probably a fresh buy can happen If you see in case of Nifty, it has closed the trade in case of futures, but in case of the option, it is still not closed the trade. And uh, in case of options, the uh, see what has happened is here uh, we change that particular thing uh, uh, somewhere around 945, right? Uh, when we actually initiated the whole thing. Uh, so that is the difference between this has taken the trade a little earlier and this trade has actually uh, been executed a little later because uh, we were having a different strike prices anyway bank nifty is still okay look at this the loss is not much and here also if you see the loss is not much so it is still looking good let's see and what is happening with nifty if nifty is taking this trade okay let's do one thing nifty came into a sell and then again into a buy mode so what i'll do is i'll first i'll start, i'll do one thing is uh, i'll just no make a note of this particular trade and what I am going to do here is I'll again put that into a buy mode. But if it fails again, then we will not get into a buy in case of Nifty. Okay. 
because it has again come into a buy and it is sustaining so probably and uh, on the chart also it was trying to take the support so let's do one thing i'll again take this buy mode and let's see if it gets uh, again if it closes and again there is a loss then preferably no buy trade in nifty so let's see as of now i'm in a wait and watch mode only i'll be only doing anything after maybe 10 30 11 because those are the timings which we are seeing see i i can do this free session till uh, uh, only uh, for half an hour because uh, we have time restrictions also i'll be setting up this live and uh, in the morning uh, if you are getting any trade and uh, you can actually take advantage of it for free. Okay, look at the mid cap nifty also. Mid cap nifty was having a loss of somewhere around 2000 rupees, but now it has come, the loss has come to just around 200 rupees. And these were all in the losses. Can you see all of them have come into profits? Now that is the advantage of the algo because we get hassled with all these big moves and all we, we will fail to take the trade and algo will purely take the trade based on what is happening with purely based on the data. Anyway, let's see what actually market will do if it is are we going to exit with profit or loss? Let us see. Okay, again, it has closed the trade here. You can see here, it closed this trade for Nifty again. A smaller loss, but still it is a loss. So preferably at least for the next one or two hours, we should not look at taking any trade in Nifty on the buy side at least. So if at all any buy trade on Nifty could be taken, probably right now it is uh, 11, right? 11.30 we had the time. So somewhere around uh, 11.30, 11 uh, 12 o'clock, somewhere there we can see. You can see it was in profit, it again came into a loss. Here also it had come to minus 500, it has again come to minus 135,600. That means that clearly that probably there will be some profit booking which is going to come. After the profit booking, again, buying could come probably after 11.45-12. So that is a time probably we can look at it. But right now, looks like we should rather look at a sell kind of a trade. And technically, if I have to tell you, below the low, we can definitely... Uh, see some amount of uh, selling, it may try to fill the gap. It may try to come to fill this particular gap. And here, for Bank Nifty also, it should at least start coming below this. But again, it may come and take the support here. So relatively, Nifty is only weak. Midcap Nifty is the weakest right now. What we can see as per this, if Midcap Nifty starts going below the low, I think that will uh, anyway trigger this. And uh, if you look at Midcap Nifty is extremely, it is at again all time new high. Okay, so at the lower level again, it may get some buying, but at present. If you see for this, the timing is somewhere around this only, 10.15 to 10.30. So let's see. From our algo, what is actually happening is it has not closed any of them. You see here, but most of them have been in the cell uh, on the negative side only.
see one thing is when things are not very clear and uh, when you don't want to take the trade at least you can avoid taking the trade here the paper trade mode will actually show you things in a different perspective okay can you see here nifty has come into sell mode here and if you see here nifty call options has been closed now i think we can get into a a sell mode for nifty that is what actually the algo has directly taken just marking this okay this we have taken the trade and it has closed right now okay this Again, it buys, it is, if you see here, it is going up, down, up, down. That is happening because we are at an important level. But anyway, this is active, it has not closed. As long as it is not closing, you don't have to worry. So Nifty put has actually got activated. Look at this, again, it has gone into a buy mode again coming into a sell mode which is actually showing you that this is what happens buy sell buy sell this will keep triggering your stop loss that is why i said preferably don't do anything move out of it two times stop loss has triggered it is actually signaling you that at this place preferably not do anything and that too especially on the buy side because that is where two times stop loss has got triggered but again, in the sell side also, if it has to come, it has to start sustaining below the day low. Otherwise, again, it will have a challenge. So <laughs> if you leave everything for the algo, it will create some challenges. But when it is closed, fresh trade will not get executed. So you don't have to worry. You will have to remove this, then a new trade will actually start happening. When it becomes active, then a new fresh trade will be taken. So that is how the whole thing works. Okay, let's see. See here, as I said, it has to break this and sustain below this. But anyway, this is where it has given you an early signal. Early signal has come. And uh, if you see here, Initial stop loss was 90 and it has got trailed till 97.45. So if you look at this, your risk initially was around 30 points. Now the risk has got reduced to around 20 points. So if it again starts moving a little more higher, this will get trailed a little more higher. we will wait for some more time and then i will actually have to wind up the session but i hope you are able to understand how this is actually working see dekhe yahan par algo apna jo logic hai uske hisab se hi chalega and uh, if you want to avoid a particular trade then uh, you will have to ensure that Wahapar wo trade execute now. Ho. How can you avoid that if you are doing a real trade? Like a paper trade mode hai and real trade mode. Hai. If you don't want to do any uh, real trade, you can enable the paper mode. And if you are doing a real trade, then after lot size jo hai, usko galat de dijiye. If lot size, see for bank nifty it has to be 15. If you are putting it maybe 10 or maybe 20, something which is not actually going to be there, then it will uh, not get executed. We are anyway winding up the session, uh, Prakashji.
Naresh, you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. Otherwise, anyway, we will wind off this in a few minutes. Right now, uh, this needs to stay uh, above this, uh, I think, uh, what is the size, 90? So, as long as it stays around 100, 10, 115, I think it should start doing good. Let's see. Fine, guys. I think we will wind up the session for today. We'll catch up tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll try to catch up a little earlier. The only challenge is <laughs> as long as there's no problem with the broker. Oh, bye-bye, guys. See you.